Hey guys, welcome back to SoCal Expeditions. In today's video in the Tundra build series, aka Gramps, we are going to be taking off the OEM chrome grill and we're going to be putting on a paint matched grill with a TRD Pro grill style insert. So let's jump straight into it. So here we have the Pro grill insert from goodmatchup.com, I believe, and you can find that link for it in the description and I got the surround paint matched to match the truck. So this is actually color match technically, it's a 98% match to the paint of the Tundra. So it looks really, really good in my opinion. I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips on how to do this right now. So when you buy the surround um, and the grill insert uh, from Walmart or wherever it is, look at the description below for the link. It's gonna look like that, except it's gonna be painted black for the surround. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is take out the insert. And the insert has a ton of clips all around here, 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 here. It will take you a minute. It will take a while. So be very careful trying to take this grill out and slowly just open up the clips, pull back on them, use flatheads, trim tools. If you have two people, it really helps. And then I also wedged a lot of uh, trim tools and flatheads along the way underneath like here, for instance. I would like unclip here, unclip here, put a trim tool underneath so it wouldn't snap back and then worked my whole way around it. Taking out the factory insert probably took about 30 minutes and putting this one in probably took about 20 minutes because when you go to clip this one back in, none of these clips line up. So you have to like kind of pry back on the clip and then push on the factory insert to get it lined up. Overall, it's doable, but it's a pain. So again, you'll see the clips that you need to undo and just take your time. You might have some carnage like I do. Some clips might have broken, but honestly, not that big of a deal. What I recommend doing is you'll notice there's no bottom bracket here. And on the factory grill, there is this bottom bracket. And when you get it, it'll come with a bottom bracket as well right here. I'm gonna take all the stuff off the OEM grill and put it on here just because I know OEM is best. And if it fits on here, we're gonna run it like that. So the first thing that I went ahead and did is I pulled out all the screws that were holding the grill to the hood or the bracket. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then there are clips that are clipped in right here. Two, three, four, five, maybe six and seven. So I'm gonna slowly see what's the best process of unclipping these things very gently so we can reuse the OEM clips. If not, this grill insert did come with clips or excuse me, the grill surround. So I can reuse, reuse those, but they're probably not the same quality as OEM. So we're gonna try and gently take the clips out. So I went in ahead and I undid the factory hood latch down here. This is the uh, way to open it and this is where it catches. So if you do happen to close the hood when this is off, just pull on this and you'll be able to open the hood. So just note that. So to be honest, all I did is I just pulled on the grill starting on this side, which is the right side if you're facing the truck, and then uh, worked my way and pulled the left side and it snapped off. However, I put this down on purpose because I had a feeling the grill was just gonna slide off and hit uh, this top trim piece, which it absolutely did. So please cover your uh, valence piece, trim piece right here, unless you want to scratch it from your grill dropping off. And we only broke two clips. So we broke this area right here on the surround. No big deal, a clip can still get underneath that. And then I broke this side right here. So one broken clip here. These are still good to go. So we're gonna reuse these and we're also gonna reuse all these metal threaded inserts. Uh, for the new grill, as well as this whole bottom uh, bracket piece right here. So now working on the factory grill, we're gonna steal some parts from it. First thing I wanna steal are all these clips right here. So you can kind of just slide them over as far as you can, get a fl thinner flathead, and then gently pry these out. Remember, these are old trucks, so you don't really wanna be putting much leverage on these clips. So just take your time, slowly pull these things out get the clips out and then reinstall them into the new grill uh, surround. For these side clips, you'll have one right here, one right here. They look different than the other ones. 
and I'm reusing or I'm using the new ones because I snapped one off and I broke the other one. So we're going to put them in like this where the channels are facing north and south and they'll slide straight in and you'll be good to go once you use two hands. There we go. And all these are pretty loose, just an FYI. So don't be too worried about that. Next up, we'll get the hood latch on here. It comes on this factory bracket. This bracket right here came off the factory grill. They will give you a new bracket. I don't see why I would put on the new bracket when the old one works just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and do ourselves less work or make less work for ourselves. And we're gonna find a screw that will fit in that hole. And we're gonna throw a washer on it so it can actually grip uh, the entire bracket around the side, just like the factory screw did, but just a smaller diameter screw. All right, we swapped everything over from the chrome grill to this one. Some notes here, go easy on these uh, Phillips screws, Phillips head screws, you will snap them. Uh, the plastic underneath, if you tighten them too hard. Also, I would kind of pinch here as you're uh, tightening them because this will clip into place and like fall into place almost. For all these clips, there's two clips under here that look like this, pinch them and then put them on and make sure you can fully thread in a bolt before you try and put this back on the truck and make sure they're all centered. When you pinch them and then put them on, they kind of stick better. So that way they don't fall off, especially these ones. So they're loose and dangling around when you try and bolt it up to the truck. Uh, there's a chance that they'll fall out and then you have to undo all these screws again and that's super annoying. So make sure you pinch them. And again, I reused all the OEM stuff. So I didn't take anything out of these bags. These bags are still good. Um, this is all the stuff that came with the aftermarket grill. Didn't use any of them. Everything from OEM went back on this surround and insert no problem. So we're going to go ahead and throw this onto the grill, onto the truck. You can see how I did the hood latch here, two different bolts, screws, but it'll work just fine. So let's go ahead and snap this back on. And just like that, the grill is on and is bolted together and good to go. Some recommendations I have is when you first put the grill on and you're engaging the clips, look through the top, line all the clips up and then start pushing from the inside out. You will have to push with some force. Do not push on the insert, push on here, here, this front side right here. Don't push on this insert or here and here you can push as well, but avoid this, avoid this, or you will literally punch your way through it. Other than that, I think it looks pretty good. The overall good matchup uh, grill insert quality is like a 7 out of 10. The surround quality is pretty good. I would give it an 8 out of 10. And the paint match that I got done is spot on. So I think this is like a 98% match. I think that's pretty freaking fantastic. So this is plastic getting painted and this is metal. So it might look a little bit different. Overall, I'm really happy with it. And I think that it looks fantastic. It is much better than the chrome. So that is going to be it. A huge thank you for watching this video on the Gramps build series, getting the front grill put on. I'm going to go ahead and put the rear bumper on. Not going to film that. Super easy. It's swapping on a black rear bumper. But videos will be continuously coming out on this truck. I promise you they are worth watching so you can see the progression on one of these trucks doing what I would consider to be a correct build. Um, so there's no skipping steps on suspension. There's no throwing money at dumb things. Everything is going to be done really well to build a mid-travel two setup, if that's what you want to call it. So mid-travel and some. I hope you guys enjoy. Keep watching and stay tuned for the next video. Take care.